If you looked closely at our previous example, you might have noticed that something changed in the code. The code it per se, it's the same. It works in the same way where she's fetching all the authors from a database, but we have a small change. We're not connecting to the database inside the view anymore, but now we have this before request function. We have this before request function, which is basically decorated with the app dot before request and the idea is that this particular function right here is going to be invoked every time that a re new request happens so let me for example put a print statement here and invoke the same page that we're looking again if we look closely at the logs we will see the hello world string we printed out that it was printed so the before request function was executed. I want you to picture for a second a large application containing many 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 functions and many 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 views, right? A user's view, a dashboard view, home view, sales, I don't know, many different pages. If each one of those pages have to connect to the database, the logic of including the connect database, the connection to the database inside the view could be duplicated. So by relying on the before request uh, hook, we can connect to the database, include the code to connect to the database just once, and then reuse it in every other view. To do so, we make use of the G object of the Flask framework. To be honest, this name is terrible. This is my opinion. The G is just an, a variable named G, but it, it stands for the global object. Um, it's an object that we can use when we need to invoke different functions to fulfill uh, some certain details for just one request. So you have different functions that are collaborating to fulfill a single request. So the data that we want to persist in the global object is going to be, in this case, the connection to the database. When we then invoke the hello world view, we will be able to use that database connection by just invoking she.tv as you can see right here. I'm going to include now another view, just a dummy view to demonstrate how before request is included in every request that we make to the site. Uh, we will, by doing that, we will see the hello world uh, string printed in a different view. So let me include this simple view here. It's just slash extra. I'm going to save this script and then I'm going to invoke extra right here. If you check closely, you will see that other view was executed and we see right here the hello world string. So what it, this is telling us is that just before request will be executed before any request. So if there is any type of work that you have to do before every request, for example, checking if there is a, use, a logged in user, checking if the logged in user has the right privileges, if they're setting up some type of logging, any task that you have to do before every request, well, the before request hook is a really, really good idea.